Hello people, welcome to this new video. It's a bonus tutorial for a subscriber that asked for a specific video on my Discord server. Uh, I highly encourage you to go on the Discord uh, if you have any questions or specific demands. Um, so he asked for a tutorial on how to make camera switch between uh, first person to third person. Just a quick disclaimer before we start. Um, this is a bonus episode, so it means that I will not be implementing this in the main uh, series. So in the next episode, there won't be a third view included, and I won't bother making the third view work with all what we're, we're going to add in the next episode. Uh, so let's do it. It's going to be very uh, simple. So first off, we're going to get into our player scene. We're going to uh, rename the camera. Let's call it first person. We're going to add a node 3D and a second camera that we'll call third person. Good. Then we're going to go into our player script. Right there, we're going to change the dollar sign camera 3D to dollar sign first person. This will be the, the default view of, of the game, but let's create a function, a function that we'll call a switch view. And we're going to use this function to switch between uh, the first person view and the third person view. We're going to type if input is action just pressed. Uh, we're going to call the key uh, switch. Inside there, we're going to call the variable camera. Camera will be equal to the node 3D. So in our case, the node 3D will be, we'll call it head. So camera will be equal to dollar sign head. Then we're going to set the active camera to the third person. So third head dot third person e dot current current equal true. In the onready var, uh, in the onready function, the function ready, we're going to set first person camera to current. So first person camera dot current equal true. Good. What does current do? It sets the current camera. It's a simple uh, checkbox right there. We can check it to on for the, oh, not the third person, but the first person, it's already on. So the, the first camera that uh, we'll use is this camera. Then if we press the switch key that we're gonna go and bind in the input map just after, if we press the switch key, the camera will be equal to head and not first person. So the camera will become, the, the camera variable will become head and the head slash third person. So we're referencing the camera itself, dot current will be equal to true. And by making this camera the current one, it will disable the, the other one. Uh, why are we setting the node 3D as the camera and not the camera directly? Uh, this is because if we go into the scene, let's uh, separate the two. We can take the third person camera and move it around there. You can press on preview to see what it will look like. So this is fine, I think. And the head will be right there. So the rotation point will be the player. So when we will be moving our camera by moving our mouse, our camera will move around our player. Because if we don't uh, put the rotation point right there, the camera is going to rotate on itself. So it's going to do just like the head and it's just going to rotate like this. And we don't want that. So then just like that, it should work perfectly fine. If we test it, let's press play and Ah, we did not set what the, the switch input. So we're going to go and add a new action, action, switch, add, add. Uh, I'll set it to tab, but it can be whatever you want. So in our case, it will be tab. And oh, I forgot to put it in the process function. So in the function process, we're going to put uh, the function switch view. This way it will work. So now if we test it, I'm in first person. If I press tab, I'm in third person and the camera moves around the, the player. It works fine. Uh, there's one thing missing uh, is being able to switch back. 
So it's going to be fairly simple. We're going to add a switch state, a, a if statement. We're going to check if camera, so the variable camera, equal uh, third person. So if it's equal to third person, we're going to switch it for head and set the third person camera to the current camera. And else, if it's not the case, it's it means that the camera is equal to head. So we're going to reuse this code. Camera is equal to first person. And the camera that we want to set as our current camera will be first person dot that current a equal true. So this should work. Oh, it's the equal. I forget one uh, one equal. Good. Now we should be able to switch between the two views. Yep, it's working perfectly fine. Good. Uh, so I hope you liked the bonus episode. Uh, see you in the next real episode. And goodbye.